what's up guys thank you for watching this video i hope that you are going to enjoy it uh today's video is going to be a very simple one that is actually my favorite type of video we kind of going to do a shootout or uh, a showdown between those two gago of course this is my dji gago v1 and this is my gago 2 uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take those two guys using the Cadex Vista and I'm just gonna fly on my neighborhood. And for the Gago V1, we're gonna be using the regular Vista, the one we've been using for years. And uh, this is the drone, I'm gonna be running the Gago V1 on. And this is my AOS 5, it does have the Cadex Vista in the back. And the antenna that come with this guy is the Waxnell antenna. And for the Gago 2, we're going to be using two different drones. We're going to be using this guy, which is my Fox Whoop. He does have the Cadex Vista with the Waxnell antenna. And of course, I have updated this to the OkSync 3. I know people have been saying like downgrade firmware or backward firmware. To me, it is not a backward firmware because you are technically converting the Vista into OkSync 3. So I got the OkSync 3 firmware in it, which allow me to talk to the Gago 2. And I'm also gonna be flying using this guy, which is my Gig 35. Also has the Cadence Vista with the upgrade to the OkSync 3. But this one has the original Cadex antenna, which technically is a rush antenna. We're going to take it for a spin around my neighborhood and we're going to see how good or how bad the new firmware with the Gago 2 do compared to the V1 Gagos. Alright guys, so I thought it just makes sense to start with a some type of benchmark. Uh, this is the V1 Gago with the original Vista firmware. One thing I would say, uh, just pay attention to the bitrate and the signal from the Gago one of seniors for uh, bitrate is 50.8 pretty much perfect bitrate and I kind of show the setting I'm using for this flight but I have it at 1200 milliwatts which is more than what I usually use when I fly around my neighborhood usually I fly at 700 and I'm actually stuck in a place because usually at 700 the bitrate goes down I'm kind of surprised uh, 1200 is actually now moving it's pretty perfect and in case you hear some guys scribbling in the background that's my boy and his friend they're in the house and uh, they're always screaming they're playing playstation so turn it on again and should kind of figure out i just want to make sure yeah, bitrate now moving 1200 milliwatts the senior kind of went down to three but as i said earlier usually when i, fl I fly this at 700, uh, I get a big drop when I, I get on that one little spot. Now we're just gonna go down the road, and right now, between me and the drone is my house and all my neighbor houses. And I'm gonna turn on the mailbox coming up, and that is about 150 meters from where I took off. And you see the bit we're gonna drop pretty fast here i think it got like in the 30s low 30s and latency jumping to like high 20s low 30s so but overall the video itself didn't we didn't even change or anything quality of the video was still pretty good so you're gonna go back or down the street this time and that's my house over there and you saw me um like in the back somewhere over there and i think the next one we did we went to beyond one of my neighbor houses uh, there's a little trail here that's where most of the kids had their uh, atvs so we're gonna go up and again beat rate perfect uh signal uh four still perfect and no very low latency at this point 24 25 which is usually the best you can get on DJI um, image of course still pretty good can see everywhere I'm going can see pretty much everything I need to see all the little small branches uh, the Sun is a little bit blinding at this point but seeing everything fun we're gonna turn around here bitrate still pretty good 
senior went down to three and we're gonna go back up the straight actually when i started this those video up actually when i started flying I, I flew a couple of batteries on that day it was pretty sunny very beautiful day but later on it's gonna gonna get a little bit dark uh, a little bit cloudy so now we're just gonna go all the way to the end of the straight latency is at 27 23 I mean, latency is still pretty good. I always have a hard time flying slowly. It's kind of hard to keep the drone flying straight when you go slow. And from my house to the street or the end of my street or the street corner, it is about 400 meter. But you can see, I mean, the vistas, the system is doing fine. Uh, 50.8 bit rate, so that's as perfect as it gets. I'm gonna go all the way to the stop sign. Now, when I turn around the stop sign, you're gonna see some drop on the bit rate. And I think that is pretty much just because the antenna is gonna be facing away. There you go, we're gonna turn around here, you're gonna see a big drop. But you can see that the image itself, there is not really much degradation on the image. The image is still looking pretty fun. And of course, when I'm making my way back, everything should be getting back to normal uh, that is pretty much the bench test with the original firmware for the gago v1 uh, making my way back yeah bitrate's back to 50.8 and it seniors back to three to three and four so that's pretty good all right so now we're gonna go for a second flight and this is the gig five and of course i have the vista with the uh, O3 firmware in it using my Gago 2 and the big thing about it if you see there is a little non-applicable I think that's supposed to be the transmission between the Gago and the drone or the VTX but it's a 73 I'm not really sure about the number it's, that number seems to be pretty iffy to me because it doesn't really change the bit rate going to 30s and that's usually what I expect when I go to this area. But the big thing about the new firmware is that you don't have no, you don't, you do not have any control over the power you're using. And some of us say it's supposed to be like dynamic power. It's all managed by the Gago and the VTX. So I don't know how much power I have right now. But you can see, I mean, it's actually doing not too bad. Uh, 35 40 bit rates so they're actually not bad at all the one thing that's missing uh, which that dj actually added is you don't have any idea what your latency is i don't know if that 72 percent supposed to be showing us some kind of latency i'm not really sure what the number is i'm gonna show you later on uh where i think that number is gonna that i'm not really sure what it's supposed to be that's all i can say so we're gonna come here and the little mailbox and when i turn right after the mailbox you're gonna see a big drop in my bit rate and the image just go crazy now one of the things i say as bad as the image look you can actually see pretty well it seems like the degradation is managed pretty differently than with the original vista firmware uh, the blocks seem to be much much smaller which make it kind of easier to guess or figure out where you're going so going back up my street and uh, bit rates back to 50 so that is pretty fun and i am gonna go back beyond my neighbor house bit rate still pretty good and you can see i'm still at 72 percent that's why i mean i don't know i keep repeating myself i think that number is gonna 971 i'm not really sure about the number i'll show you later on the video why I, I keep saying that but i mean image pretty good and i have to say that the image on the gago this is youtube with youtube compression you're not really getting uh the good quality you're not really seeing what i see in the gago but the image on the gago are actually a lot more better i think that's just because of the uh oled screen that the gago do have compared to the LCD screen that you have on the V1 goggles. Alright, so bitrate still pretty good. 
no issue at all uh, we're gonna go all the way up to the street and we're gonna go down the street again all the way to the stop sign and i really don't know how much power i'm using right now but i would say somehow the gago and the vtx seem to be doing a pretty good job communicating with each other trying to figure out which what's the right number what amount of power that it's needed going down the street here be twisted 50 and now i'm showing 70 69 percent i think that's transmission connection between the vtx or the gago i'm not really sure what that number is uh, i want to i want to stop talking about a number and we got 50 still at 50 and now we're going down to to a bit rate like with like no 30s low 30s and right after that stone on the stop sign is going to drop sharply and i think it's just like the same reason that happened earlier you see uh we got in the tents but the video the image actually still look pretty decent and of course at this point my antenna is facing away from the gaggle you know and that's something i think i kind of seem to be seeing with the backward firmware is that even when your bitrate get on the low side the image does not look as bad compared to using the gago one gago v1 so now that's another flight now i'm using my fox whoop 2.5 now you can see now i got 64 percent on one of, on the image and i got 97 on the other one that's what i was talking about guys i don't know what make the change between those percentages i mean both gago were pretty much in the same position but one reading a much higher percentage and one reading a lower percentage that's why i think i think those numbers really don't mean anything i'm gonna stop here again on the house and you should see my bitrate going to 47 45 mid 30s low 30s 20s 20s and this one i'm using the wax nail antenna so that's a different antenna than the one i was using with the gig five but as i was saying even though the image is done in a low 30s mid 20s the image still looking decent and i don't know if you see the guys i got focus mode off on all the flights she's gonna hang out on here a little more and then 25 so it's definitely much lower bitrate than with the original Vista firmware. But again, I was blasting uh, the Vista at 1200 milliwatts. I don't know what the power is on the OkiSync 3 Vista. That's what I'll call it, the O3 Vista now. And I'm going to go back to the mailbox. And I think on this flight, you see a big drop as far as image quality once I turn around the mailbox. Let's see here. I get pretty crazy. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on YouTube. The image get pretty crazy. But as I said earlier, even when the image, there's a degradation, the image is not as bad with the original firmware, the, the V1 firmware for the Vista. You're still able to see and figure out where you need to go but of course i've flown this area so many times i kind of have it in the back of my head i'm gonna be going up the street and be back to the 50s now one thing i would say i think about this flight i end up turning around because my battery was getting kind of low and the problem was that it got very windy and you see that the drone is shaking a lot the fox swoop 2.5 does not do pretty good on windy days i end up spending most of the time fighting the wind is still actually flying then again beyond my neighbor house between still at 20, uh, 50 and of course our percentage 62 but who, who knows who cares about that i don't think that number is actually accurate and we go down to the 40s this time and that's one of the reason I wanted to show the system, the Oki, Oki Sync 3 Vista running with two different uh, antenna because depending on your antenna they're using, you may get much better result or worse result depending on the antenna using. But that's pretty much the truth for 
the FPV overall. Yeah, you can see the wind kind of the drone shaking a little bit. And I think as pretty soon I'm just gonna chicken out my batteries at 3.60 and I felt like I would not be able to make it all the way down the street. I didn't feel like walking on a day because it still was pretty cold. So I think I'm just gonna turn around somewhere around here. Yeah, that's why I'm turning around. And what I did, I just swap batteries. But you can see the bit rate still 50. And our new battery, bit rate still fun. I mean, I do like uh, the new backward firmware compatible, whatever. Uh, the one thing I like about it gave me a chance to use the Gago 2. And I'll say that in my personal opinion, I think the Gago 2 are one of the best Gago right on, on the market. I like them better than the Gago V1. They fit me better than the Gago V1. I don't have any issue with mine. The fit is perfect. I don't have no fogginess or anything. I know some people report the fogginess. Mine, no, that's not a, none of the issues I experience with the Gago. So far, it's been pretty good. And the image looks so much better with the OLED, sc OLED screen. Whoop, I almost hit that little plane there. The wind pushed me into that. Going toward the end of straight. And you can see now it's getting 40 trees, the bitrate going a little lower. So I think uh, just like anything FPV related, is mostly going to be depending on the quality antenna you're using with your VTX. Uh, Worksnail antenna really not known to be the best quality antennas, but uh, this is a CineWoop, this is just a FoxWoop 2.5. So I don't see myself flying this far with it anyway. But here we go and then a big drop but see like there's a big drop on on the bit rate but the image still pretty decent and i think that's one of the big change between the la latest firmware and the previous firmware because usually the previous firmware if i get to the low 10 my image quality is, is just awful so it's going back up the street now i do have a bunch of vista I do have a bunch of air units uh, those are the only two drones i move with uh, into the backward firmware i'm not expecting to change any of my other quad because those are both cine whoop my other quad are five inch and seven inch um, i want to keep those on the original firmware just because i i like to have the option to control how much power i'm using while with the okay sync 3 system you really don't have the option on that but that was pretty much it guys for this video i'm gonna stop here and i will see you guys on the next one Thank you for watching, I hope that you enjoyed it and as usual, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you guys.